episode of Making Games, and today, the day is Monday. The date is the third, and that means that we've been dieting for 28 days. This marks uh, week four complete. Obviously, I've got the results in my fitness pal, just like we have for the past three weeks. And what that means is that here we are at the end of 28 days. I said I was going to cut for 28 days, just like the uh, transformation challenge was at the CrossFit box. I'm going to continue like you guys may have already guessed. Um, I've said it plenty of times in the past that I want to end this series in the top shape uh, possible and so that's what we're going to do. Now, the last week I would lie. <clears throat> I'd be lying if I said that I haven't been hungry at times but that's just the way it is, especially if you want to drop weight you know, relatively quickly. I, you know, in the mornings I feel small. If I'm not in the gym all pumped up, I, I do feel smaller, I feel depleted, I feel skinny, but I just have to keep reminding myself that those feelings are feelings that come and go, and um, you know, you might catch yourself in a, some good lighting somewhere and think, fuck, you know, I am making progress, and then that makes all of those shit feelings go away. And so that's sort of how I've been going back and forth over the past week or so. But um, Regardless of that, the diet has been on point, it's stayed on point, and the last seven days, I will run through what the macros were. So we're talking from 26th of June to the 2nd of July. On average, 242 grams of carbs, 86 grams of fat, and 213 grams of protein. So if anything, I'd probably want to, you know, fat and carbs are, are pretty much bang on. Uh, if I could do anything, I'd up protein to about 240, just to, make, just to you know, give myself some peace of mind that I'm not going to lose muscle. Um, but you know, anything over 200, I'm I'm relatively happy with. So, as far as calories go, average calories 2,632. So that is the lowest amount of calories I've had in a week since starting. I think I started on about 2,800 for the first two weeks. Then I went up to 3,400 for the third week. And now I'm back down to 2,632 uh, per day for this fourth week. Now, on top of that, I've actually I've probably had 20 to 30 grams worth of BCAs in the powder form, uh, just mixed with water every single day. So what that is, that's probably an additional 20 to 30 grams worth of protein that I can add to my uh, you know totals. So. With that being said, my, my daily protein for the last week is probably about 240 like I, like I want it, so um, that's all good. But with that, with all that being said, I'm, uh, I'm going to go now, I'm going to go do some fasted cardio. It's first thing in the morning and uh, about to have a scoop of OxyShred, as per usual. And um, I've got the day off, so I'm going to go and do some cardio on the streets, which I haven't really been doing. As far as cardio goes, I honestly haven't been doing any specific um, cardio like I would have been if I wasn't going to CrossFit. Now CrossFit I see as my cardio honestly and you know if I'm sticking to anything under 3,000 calories the way my metabolism is firing at the moment I believe I'm, I'm burning you know a good 4,000 calories per day every single day so anything 3,000 or under I'm going to continue dropping weight I know I am and um, you know we'll, we'll see where we're at so to, uh, to finish this video off, we're going to do a little weigh-in. So I'll take, take this off. And uh, let's go do that. Alright, so there we have it guys. 90... What was it? That is the current weight guys. Now that is not my my lowest weigh-in. If you saw a previous video of mine, I said that I had my lowest weigh-in for, for nine months. I hadn't been that light and that was under 97 kgs I weighed in that day. Today I, I am wearing um, some track pants that are probably weighing about a kg. So honestly, first thing in the morning, you know, no food, no pump. I am sitting around 97 kgs in the morning. So that's six kilos down guys in four weeks and that's continuing the weight loss that occurred in the first three weeks. So for the first three weeks, my average weight loss was 1.4 kilos per week. Um, I worked that out. You know, my top weight at the start of this was 103. Uh, my low weigh-in over the third week was 98.8, which means a total weight loss of 4.2 kilos. Uh, split over three weeks is 1.4 kilos per week. Now, this week, what's my weight? 97 kg. So that's 
an additional 1.8 kilos of weight loss effectively uh, since last week. So, you know, we're continuing, and, and you know, that, that's to be expected with my calories having dropped 800 calories per day <clears throat> on average from last week. You're expecting a, an increase in weight loss, and that's exactly what happened. So, so you know, I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty, pretty positive, man. I could, you know, I could stop here to be honest, fill out again and continue bulking, but I'm not going to. I really want to get in good shape by the end of this. I want to show you guys that it's possible. I want to show myself what's possible. And I don't know what's going on with the contrast in this fucking video, but I keep going black and then white, black and then white. And I'm extremely white right now. But uh, anyways, guys, that's, that's about enough for today. I'm going to call it here. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. So. Until then, have a great day, train hard, eat well, and I'll see you guys in another week, if not before.